You're listening to Quirpline here on QWRP-FM. Quirpline this week is brought to you by Chad McRad's Sad Pad, a new topical antidepressant from Huffer Pharma Chemicals. Stick one under each arm and get on with your day already. Chad McRad's Sad Pad. Get the pad and get glad. Good morning, Innsburg. Welcome to Corp Line. Big G Money here with A Train. How's it going, A Train? Like a raver peaking on E, I'm grinding my smile into powder. So good yep. or okay? Fan- fantastic. I hope everyone else out there feels as good as Alex does in scenic Innsburg, turnip capital of Thurston County. Like, man, I hate turnips. So much flossing after. Not a fan myself, but we've got truckloads of the damn thing, so here we are. Turn that frown or turnip upside down. They drain better that way. I'm pretty sure that's an old wives' tale, Alex. I was told you should never invert your turnips. Well, let's go to the old wife. Well, I mean, that's why we keep her in the closet to settle disputes just like this. Uh, Muriel, what do you think? I miss my children! Inconclusive, and now the news. Lots of news from around Innsburg this week. The Innsburg Girl Scouts have posted a record high for their annual fundraising goal and a record low number of arrested minors. Well, it was touch and go for a couple years there, but it's nice to see the county police and Girl Scouts working together again. That's correct. I know a group of six young ladies who are getting their trigger discipline badge this year. Next up, community reminder that municipal property tax is due. Do what? Do pay it. Oh, never. Uh, well, if you're not... Alex, the municipal property tax is due this Sunday at noon, uh, payable by cash, check, or this year, raccoon pelt. And uh, people can pay that at the town hall, correct? Uh, Yes, though to be clear, we do mean the actual municipal town hall, not the pool hall that everyone calls the town hall. That is different. Really? They used to collect my taxes when I did pay them. That's not what was happening. Well, fool me once, hit me with a pipe. Did that happen at the pool hall as well? Oh, all the time. I shudder to ask, were you ever fooled twice? Well, I can tell you I didn't walk to work this morning. Well, that answered none of my questions. But again, if you take your raccoon pelts to the pool hall, they will not give you a receipt, nor will they validate your parking. Do you boys have a show? It's awful drafty. Could have sworn we soundproofed that closet. My thoughts exactly, Alex. But for now, it's time to check in with Richter Hammock Slam up in the QWRP traffic copter. How's it going up there, Richter? Thank you, Graham. It's a beautiful day up here in the air in the traffic copter, and traffic is moving smoothly northbound on the Shaughnessy. However, if you are traveling southbound, things are getting blocked up. Why is that? Construction. Oh, what 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 kind of construction is happening on the Shaughnessy? Beavers, Graham. Excuse me? Yes, Graham. Beavers. It's their natural habitat, and mating season is coming soon, and they need to provide homes for their young ones. Richter, are you flying above the Shaughnessy River and not the Shaughnessy Interstate? Yes. Richter, for f***'s sake. Well, as long as you're up there, maybe this is relevant to some number of local fishermen. What traffic is traveling south on Shaughnessy River? Ducks, Graham. Ducks, and I believe a shoe. No, on closer inspection, that is a croc. Not not the reptile, but the footwear. Every bit as lethal as its namesake. Well, thank you, Richter. As you can hear, it's beak to tail out there on the Shaughnessy southbound today. I'm back on in 15, aren't I? How much does fuel for that chopper cost? More pelts than you can lift. Thanks again, Richter, I suppose. And now for our lead story today, summer intern Derek is live on location down at the grand opening of Johnny Jensen's all-you-can-eat technically meat buffet. I'm sorry? Derek, you are live. Oh, right. I'm at... Sorry, I forgot the name. It was a meat buffet. Well, they say it's a technically meat buffet, but you can't tell the difference. What do they say that means, by the way? I'm told that it's something to do with Satan. What? They keep saying that everything's full of Satan here. And, I mean, it's pretty tasty, though. I think I'm doing something blasphemous. Do you perhaps mean Satan, like the Buddhist meat alternative? Oh, no, it is blasphemous. Derek, I... Oh, no, I'm going to have to go to the church and confess. My mom's going to be so upset. My dad hates it whenever I go to church. You go to synagogue for one thing. Even we know that. I'm perfectly happy that I go with her, but she needs me to drive her. Derek! Oh, right, sorry. So, I have an interview... I don't think it's with Johnny Jensen, uh, because I don't think there is a Johnny Jensen. I think it's just a clever marketing ploy. 
but um, so, but I have an interview. Do you want to hear it? Is it live this time? Here we go. I, no, I left my tape recorder at home because of what you told me last time and what you threatened to do with it. Yeah, like we said, up to your tonsils. So it's okay, because this time I used my phone to record the interview, so I'll play it back through the phone. Hang on a second. Incredible. I can't fathom this. Open the app, and can you hear that? I can't hear it. Can you hear Is it playing back on your end? Derek. Yeah? Please put your phone on speaker. Okay, there. Okay, I'll start it again. Okay, here we go. Uh, so, can I ask you a couple questions about the menu? Yeah, wait, no, ask your server. No, I mean, like, the like questions that, like, not like that, questions I need for my show. How, how did you get in here? Look, I need you to answer some questions so I can keep my job on the radio. How did you get past the maitre d'? It's very difficult to get in here. There's a maitre d'? Excuse me, little boy. You're going to have to come with me. I, I'm not a little boy. I'm 19 years old. How much did he see? Stellar um, interview, as always, Derek. How How is the food? I recorded more on my phone. Did you want to hear that too? Are you actually offering us a choice? Excuse me, can I get some of that? No, some of the sauce. No, that's good. Thank you. Derek? I'm going to need the bill later, but you can charge it to the to the radio station. Oh, no. Talk to the accountant. Go. We've got to, We've got to talk to Jeff. Are you sure this is gluten-free? D- Derek, is this he just... He keeps doing this. Is this just you eating? I'm pretty sure I can taste gluten. Like, worst case, can we at least get him a better microphone? No, that's good. Better or worse? Well, if he's going to keep doing this, we should at least give him something. So what kind of meat is this technically supposed to be? God, it sounds like he's eating inside my ears. That little boy should be chewing with his mouth closed. He's, he's 19. 19. All I can eat? If I have to do that every day, do I just come back tomorrow? Derek. So, I guess all in all, it was pretty good. I mean, I didn't pay for it, because you guys said you were gonna, and so I thought it was worth the money. Alex, do you have any memory of this conversation? I sure don't, but this is some exquisite culinary insight. I'm gonna bring my girlfriend here once I get one. Such a romantic. Thank you, Derek. Live on location at the grand opening of Johnny Jensen's All You Can Eat, technically, meat buffet. I look forward to checking it out anytime Derek's not there. I'm supposed to come back tomorrow. It's all I can eat. I was positive we'd hung up on him. Well, now it's time for sports with Chet Buntsman. How are you doing over in the comfy chair, Chet? Fantastic, Alex. Once again, the Innsberg Talcum Puffs managed to triumph over their rivals, the Julesburg Diamonds. No thanks to their coach, Dr. McFeels. That's the Talcum Puffs, Innsberg High School's famous field hockey team, sponsored, of course, by Raymond's Talc Barn. Oh, I love their powders. We're politely ignoring you, ma'am. Indeed we are. So, Chet, uh, great news then for the... Talcum Puffs field hockey team, uh, what's next for the team? The girls are going to have a real tough time practicing for the next game because the field's been cut two-tenths of an inch too short. Something McFeels doesn't care about, but never would have happened under my watch. Chet, we all know that you successfully coached the Talcum Puffs to a Thurston County Championship last year. They asked you not to come back or talk about it, which is why you're here now. So... Please just get used to it. Chet, that's an awful small amount of grass. Does it really make a difference? It's a game of inches, Alex. A game of many inches, played over many minutes on a field that happens to be full of holes now. What's that? Holes, Graham. It's like a slice of Swiss cheese that's been left out to get moldy because it's full of holes, but it's also green. It's a very laborious metaphor. Uh, Congratulations on the long walk, Chet. It's a game of inches, Alex. (laughs) (laughs) It's a game of inches, Alex. And I'm willing to go the distance, just like I did with our girls last year. At this point, I feel I should make it clear that Chet was asked not to come back to the team for no reason other than he is heavily emotional, and while a great coach pre-game would spend the games themselves, curled into a fetal position, sobbing. I have since learned to feel in silence, Graham. Well, that's super. Where do these holes come from? Yes, Alex, thank you. Chet, these holes, what's up with that? Who knows? I could ask McFeels about his shitty field, but I'm not the coach. As you've made us abundantly aware. Any sports news from Innsburg High School apart from field hockey, Chet? I don't know, there was a track and field something or other that happened last weekend, and we'll find out how Dale Chuzzle did in Dakar in a couple weeks. What, like the rally? Yes, everyone back here in Innsburg is rooting for the Chuzzler. We're all real proud of Dale. Well, except McFeels, I bet, because he doesn't seem to care about anything. Well, thank you, Chet. As always, enlightening. I tell you, I haven't seen salt like that since I toured the Dead Sea. Have to remind you again, Alex, that was not the Dead Sea. That was the sewage outfall in East Sump Acres. Well, it was real salty, and I did float on it. Yeah, I remember that day, Alex. It was uh, 
right before work. Well, uh, coming up to the break, we have a caller. We have a caller. Didn't we just change our number? I thought so too, but uh, indeed, on the line we have Lorna. Really? You're sure? All right. L- Lorna Schlitzwhistle, who is a concerned citizen. Lorna, you are inexplicably on the air. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yep. She's very, like, floaty. Hi, Grant. Hi, Alan. Look, I got your name right. I just want everybody to know something I'm really concerned about. There's wee fees that have been installed at the public library, and I'm only five blocks away, and I'm concerned that this is unsafe for my health and the health of all of the children that live in West Sump Acres. Wee fees? Uh, Schlitzwhistle, could you elaborate for us? Please, let's call her Lorna. I think that's a really familiar tone to take for a random caller. Okay, so the wee fees carry the information through the air, but they carry it on little cancer waves. And it gets into your brain, and more importantly, my bees are very upset. They can feel the weefies in their tiny bodies with their tiny wings. And I have a healing crystal, but it takes a very long time to rub a crystal on each bee, and I keep losing track of them. And I mean, I try to get them to stay still, but I mean, they are bees. I have to let them do bee things because that's how they want to be. Oh, I got it. She's talking about Wi-Fi. I really? Oh, yep. Hey, look, Lorna. Mrs. Schlitz whistle. Miss. Shocking. Look, what do you mean your bees are upset? Oh my Gaia's toenails! I'm so glad you asked. Normally they buzz counterclockwise three times every hour as a way of saying thank you to the sun. But since they installed the wee bees, <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> But since they installed the Wi-Fi's, they buzz clockwise five times an hour. Their Bicadian rhythms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it's so stupid as me. So but since they installed the Wi-Fi, they buzz five times clockwise every hour. And I think their Bicadian rhythms are all crazy now because of the information buzzing through the air from the Wi-Fi's. I... I'm asking you this as a courtesy. Do you have any suggestions as to how Innsberg could solve this problem? Oh, yes. I've been thinking a lot about this. I think that we need to construct a net of dream catchers around all of the Wi-Fi emitters in town if we can't get rid of them, which would be the better solution, of course. But that will filter out the toxins from the chakras. And I don't think that that would be too onerous for the city to do we could have all of the dream catchers blessed because the only other option is to purify the lunar cycle of each bee and that is going to take a very long time i am going to need a lot more crystals so schlitz just to clarify you're talking about invisible death rays that are disrupting your bees not just my bees all of the bees of the earth both literal and proverbial (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> what? It doesn't make any sense. And these uh, death rays are being emitted from a Linksys router, maybe? Oh, by Gaia, no. I don't speak the name of any of the Wi-Fi demons. Lord, uh, Miss Caller, it sounds like you are speaking to us from outside. H- how how are you calling us today? Oh, I've got you on my Samsung Galaxy Note. It's a phablet. Don't those also have wi Oh, no, I put a dream catcher around it and had it blessed. Well, your complaint is being... Received by other humans. Oh, thank you, and I just want to send out a very special message to all of the other listeners here, and I just want to say thank you to Mother Sun Goddess and all of the beautiful things that she does and all of the moonlight and flowers that she bestows upon us. And if you want to reach the Sun Goddess and you need a dream catcher, you can get them on my Etsy store. There it is. Thank you, Lorna Schlitzwhistle, for calling in. Please, nobody else phone in. Can I go now? Absolutely not, because it's almost time for break. And when we come back, local high school coach Dr. McFeels takes out a restraining order on our own Chet Buntsman. We'll go to Chet for a reaction. Why? And f*** that guy. And we'll let you know how many beavers it takes to flood the Shaughnessy Highway. Because it happened. Stick around, folks. We'll be right back with more Corp Line. Thanks again to our sponsor, Chad McRad Sad Pad. A new topical antidepressant from Huffer Pharma Chemicals. Stick one under each arm and just get the hell out of bed. Chad McRad Sad Pad. Get glad on the pad. 